Cole Griego, how you doing? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. We're talking about Jackson's MMA Series 22 and kind of a short notice. What, three weeks you're going to have for this one? About two and a half, two, closer to two. Um, but you know what? It's all good. I've been working hard. been in the gym pretty much every day. Um, and, you know, my, my leg's feeling good. My knee's feeling good. I'm coming off of an MCL tear. But, um, you know, it's 100 as long as I'm careful in my training. And, um, you know, I train smart. I'll be good to go. I am feeling great, and I'm excited. What was that like as an amateur dealing with your first major injury and setback? You know, it was it was so disappointing, man, because it was it was ten days before um, my fight in Vegas. I was supposed to fight um, on April 21st in Las Vegas. I was supposed to have my third fight out there, so I was you know super bummed out that it had to happen you know that close to um, my fight. But you know ultimately, I know everything happens for a reason, and it's you know made me stronger. I uh, had to take a little break, you know, had some time to you know think and um, evaluate you know my life and you know things, and I you know got some things straightened out that needed to be straightened out and. Um, you know, mentally right now, I'm just feeling better than ever. Like I said, I think it happened for a reason, even though it was a big bummer. Um, you know, yeah, it was, uh, I'm feeling good now. That's all that matters, and I'm ready to go. Daniel Nieto gets injured. Opportunity knocks. You're jumping in and take on Mark Matthew McDale. What do you know about your opponent? You know, I've seen him fight a couple times. Um, I know he's pretty well-rounded. I know, um, you know, he's a talented fighter, but, you know, I don't think he has anything that's going to pose a threat to me. Um, I'm fully confident in my abilities everywhere. You know, I, um, I've been working my wrestling. I've been working my jiu-jitsu, you know, judo. I've been fitting it all in, so uh, I'm ready to, you know, handle whatever he has to throw at me. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it a war if he wants to make it a war, but um, if he gives me something, I'm going to finish it. Is there a specific advantage you have in this fight, you think? You know, my striking, for sure. He, he better watch out because I'm very powerful for my size, and, you know, I'm very fast, so um, if anything, you know, or, you know, there's lots of things he's going to have to worry about, because like I said, you know, I'm, I'm well-rounded. I'm, you know, I pose a threat absolutely everywhere, but, you know, that, my right hand and, you know, my kicks are brutal, so he just better watch out for my speed and my power. I'd say those are the, my main, my main threat against the mark is, is, are those things, my speed and my power, for sure. Where do you, is there something you think that he does really well? Um, you know, he mixes it up pretty good. Like I said, I've seen him fight a couple times. Um, he throws lots of kicks. Uh, you know, he mixes it up and, you know, he, he fits his takedowns in. I know that, you know, he's not a weak guy, so I'm going to be prepared to, you know, face the, the best Mark Matthew on June 10th. And um, with my preparation, my hard work, and, you know, my surroundings, the people I have, you know, supporting me, I'm going to I'm gonna get my hand raised. That's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind that I will be victorious on June 10th. Since the last time we saw you in action, where do you feel you've grown the most? You know, I feel I've grown in my ground game the most. I've always been, you know, naturally a good striker, um, good kickboxer, but um, I've always, you know, struggled a little bit with my jiu-jitsu game. And it's um, it's been something that I've kind of not worked on as much because I've been so focused on my striking. And I just love sparring and, you know, punching people in the face. And, um, you know, that's always been my thing. But I think that... I've been, this last couple months especially, I've been super focused on my ground game, my jiu-jitsu and wrestling especially. Um, you know, my, the guy's, uh, my good brother, uh, Roberto Corvo, is going to be the main event. I've been, um, you know, working my jiu-jitsu a lot with him. He's a third degree black belt, so, um, you know, it's, it's improved a lot. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a great fight. I'm going to, you know, it's going to be, I'm going to pose a threat anywhere it goes, for sure. And then last question, a random one. Do you have a favorite martial arts movie? Um, you know, I'm super cheesy. I'm gonna have to say my favorite martial arts movie is The Karate Kid, the original. The, you know, throwback Karate Kid for sure. Message for the fans? Um, you know, message for the fans. Give me a follow on Instagram, uh, add me on uh, Facebook. I'm gonna try to have someone go live if you guys can't make it to the event. Hit me up for tickets, and then, yeah, you're not gonna wanna, wanna miss this one. It's gonna be a great show. This is probably the most stacked Jackson's card that we've had yet, so um, make it out there. Santa Fe, Buffalo Thunder, June 10th. Uh, we're gonna go to war, and it's gonna be a fun night. Thank you for the time. Of course, thank you.